Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Iron Haas Gear. Today is heavy bench and shoulder meltdown. Tuesday, heavy bench day. Warming up here. Done a warm up set before, plate, plate and a half. Working with uh, young David here. So we have definitely uh, a little bit of difference in our weights. So what I usually do here is whatever my training partner is using. If I'm stronger, then I just throw my weights on top. Jumping up to 275, two, maybe 295 here. It's probably my third set in. Bar is moving really well. The Saturday before, we did the four sets of eights, where I finished off with a set of eight to 385. So I was wondering how my shoulders would feel, but they're actually feeling really good. So this here is about 365 or so. And moving really well. I'm just keeping an eye. I want to, at this point, I've decided I'm going to go for a heavy, heavy single. So I'm just doing a few reps of each weight just to introduce the weight, but not over fatigue the shoulders because they are a little bit tired from Saturday. But I'm actually feeling really good here. The bar is moving well, it feels really good in my hands. And I can usually tell by about 365, 405, what kind of day I'm going to have. Here I tighten up, bring the bar out, and give it a good drive. Bar moved really well, so uh, I'm just looking forward to going a little bit heavier. Here I'm working with about 470, 455 here. Steph spotting me, bring this out. This is the one that's going to really tell me what's going on. That moved really well. So we're going to jump up to, I believe, 505 at this point. At this point, I've decided I'm definitely going to go beyond five, but again, always one rep at a time. And that flew up really well. Again, slow down the to talk because I was trying to pay attention to how my shoulders felt, but they felt pretty good. So here I decided to go 525, 520-ish. Yeah, I think 525, a 10 and a 5 on each side. And I was very happy with this rep. A little slower, but again, I'm just being careful with my shoulders. So I decided I was going to definitely go from there. Here's 545. I have not had this on the bar for many, many months. So I wanted this to uh, give this a shot. Here I've got my training partner ready. And I always have my, my training partner, one or two guys that used to spotting me, spot me on my heavies. They're there just in case. They stick with me and they let me work through it. That's what's really important. And if I do slow down or I start to stop to help me finish the rep and then I just work off their feedback, they don't give me any gifts. They're honest with me but I'd rather just be safer when I do these things. Um, just, you know, no use risking injury. If I get in trouble, someone's there. If it goes well, it goes well. From there, we moved on to floor press, working with sets of three. Again, I'm working with a couple of other guys, so I'm just throwing my weights on top here. Here I've got about 295, I think. Three plates, keeping the legs out so there's no leg drive. It's just upper body. And three went well, so I decided to go a little bit heavier. And here I believe I've got 365, maybe 385. I've got a quarter and a 10 in there. Yeah, it's 385. Moving really well. Again, just keep an eye on my shoulders, make sure they're not getting too tired from Saturday. And that went well. And then from there, we're going in the shoulders. This is a new exercise, a static front raise. Very difficult, very dirty, maintaining, trying to keep that arm as straight as possible, not bending too much at the elbow, focusing on the front delts. It doesn't take a lot of weight. This is, again, second set. Here, I'm not going any heavier. I think I'm working with 25s here, and I'm just working with 8 to 10 reps and just really working on keeping that one arm straight and static while the other arm is moving. Definitely don't want any arm moving while the other is moving. So this way... It's a full rep, a reset. So this keeps you totally engaged. The shoulders are definitely burning up. It's dirty. And you can tell by the expression on my face. At this point, I feel I wish I had stayed in school. The shoulders are feeling really good, but definitely getting taxed here. And third set. And here I'm trying to add a couple extra reps here. Here's some fatigue definitely setting in. Keeping the core tight, really staying focused on this. Really want to do this well, but now I'm just trying to deal with the angst, 
keep the form and just push through it and push those reps. You can tell it's getting harder and harder for me to keep that static arm straight. The moving arm doesn't seem to be half as, as much work. It's really holding the other arm straight. And it's counterintuitive. So you're, you're fighting that as well, too. And from here, we go into the side laterals. Lots of reps here, 20, 25 reps, forcing a lot of blood in there. What I like about these partials is this keeps the tension on the side delts the whole time. When I come down, I try not to let my arm, my hands touch my thighs. Keep that tension on there, no rest. Lots of time under tension, just driving a lot of blood into the shoulders. Here, we just want to build lots of muscle. And again, for shoulders, I find they just need lots and lots and lots of reps with a lower weight. And this allows you to go a little heavier and definitely longer time under tension and just thinking about it. And by this point, I can really feel the side delts just getting thicker, more pump, and really trying to make sure that each rep, I'm feeling the side delts do all the work. And it's a bit of a love-hate relationship here. I love doing these exercises, but when you're going through it, it's just, it's just hateful. I believe this is the last set of this. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, but that's what I want. I definitely want this to be a mental war, forcing and doing my best to get my hands as high as I can, keeping the tension on the bottom so they don't rest against my thighs and just feel that blood being crammed in there. At this point, shoulders feel like they're three feet thick and just pushing that feeling. I'm trying to push some extra reps here just to really push and final, final punch down on these. Yes, very happy these are over. And then from here, just a little bit of core. I'm trying to do these at least two to three of the workouts. Hip flexors, lower core. I'm not using my hands on the side, holding on the plates now because my core is getting a little stronger and also getting a little more coordinated so I can do these better. A little fancier. And I believe I filmed three, but I might have done four sets here. Or I might have just done three. At this point, tired. Glad it's almost over. And just wanting to finish the workout. Well, so this must have been my first set when I was just deciding that I wanted to do no hands. I just want to get started. <clears throat> Aiming for 15 to 20 reps here. Just a little bit of a burn. The legs start to get pretty heavy, so I'm really trying to maintain that form. And that was it, guys. That was uh, short and sweet when we go heavy, just not as much volume overall. Just a lot of heavy singles. And then just moving forward into the secondary chest exercise, which was the floor press. And then just lots of shoulder volume. Wanted to do a lot of pump today, so I just did a lot of laterals and front laterals, front raises, just to get a lot, a lot of action there. A lot of time under tension, a lot of blood flow, and not worry too much about the pressing. The one thing about the heavy volume on Saturday and then today's heavy singles I just didn't want to overdo the shoulders with, with heavy weight. I just wanted to get lots of blood in there and just get them thick and warm and just get them growing. So great workout. Really pumped about this. Really happy like Saturday's workout with that volume as well, too. That was pretty motivating. And just good to see my shoulders are healing pretty good in between the workouts. I'm still very careful. I want to make sure that I just don't overdo it. But uh, really liking this uh, current strength curve that I'm on. So I'm just going to ride it for as hard as I can, as fast as I can. Felt really good to get 545 on the bar. And... Uh, you know, the old power lifter me is now, you know, wants to feel 565, 585, but we'll take it as it comes one Tuesday at a time. You know, I know I was telling the guys, I said this Saturday, we're definitely going to go with more volume, 12 to 15 reps on the presses, give the nervous system a little bit of a break and then see what that's like on the following Tuesday for the heavy. So if any questions, guys, Kurt Haas at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be hitting you again with the next workout really soon. I'll talk to you guys later.